I think something I want to start off by talking about, since this has definitely been going on on Twitter and the online left sphere for the last few days, definitely inspired a lot of debate, a lot of discussion, and that would be streamer Hassan Piker, aka Hasanabi. He recently bought a new house, a big house actually in uh, Los Angeles. Um, yeah, West Hollywood. So let's take a look here. There we go. People are losing their shit because a socialist streamer bought a house. Hassan Piker bought a house in West Hollywood, and now it's a whole thing. Uh, and this is a pretty big house, as you guys can tell, a $3 million home uh, in Los Angeles. So, you know, definitely going to be a pretty, uh, you know, big investment, going to be a pretty nice piece of property. I think it has a pool. People have been sharing some photos. Yeah, I mean, it, it kind of goes back to, and I'm sure we'll talk about this a little bit more, right? The controversy of Jimmy Dore. Uh, and, and it's so funny to me, the, the hypocrisy going on right now, the $1.7 million compound versus the $3 million family home, you know, depending on who, who you're talking about, right? And look, I, I, Hassan is an extremely successful streamer. I think in a lot of ways, he's revolutionized the stream to where you can engage on politics as well is engaging on popular culture and gaming and doing all of that shit you know he kind of floats in the world of like a a popular culture streamer who just happens to have leftist values and we talk about on the show all the time how it's really important to have people like that he obviously i consider myself to be dramatically to the left of hassan you've probably seen me reacting to clips where i profess you know anger or frustration with his takes but that being said i think he fulfills a, a necessary role uh which is engaging with people who would have never engaged in politics and giving them a left-wing understanding so that those people might one day drift over to the vanguard and get the real shit you know or you know some likewise lefty stream uh and 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 obviously he makes a fuck ton of money guys like let's not kid ourselves right but uh you also have to remember scale right so one it shouldn't be fucking three million dollars to buy a home like that in west hollywood that should be like a one million dollar home okay so let's just talk about the real estate uh you know being a fucking issue there you know it, it's kind of like how i was talking about how jimmy's home is really expensive but yeah it was described as a compound i saw a picture of it we live in the fucking midwest people have fucking compounds here you know what i mean so it's it's like, you, you, you know, I, I don't know. I don't I don't have a problem and I don't begrudge people who get successful, especially because in the unique platform of streaming, uh, you're not really harming anybody when you're making your money. Like this isn't like he's profiting off of some like fucking Indonesian slave that's making shoes that, you know, he's, you know, hawking with his name on it or anything like that. He's not, you know, uh, persecuting workers. He's, you know, he's, he's just made a lot of money talking shit on the Internet. And how do you fault the guy for that? I think it's good. 100%. I totally agree with that, Zach. And let's take a look at a few more Twitter reactions to this situation. Um, it looks like Jank, obviously Hassan's uncle, came in to defend him, but also to subtweet Jimmy Dore in the same tweet. So that's predictable. He says, I'm super proud of Hassan for becoming incredibly popular without selling out or shilling for right wingers. Uh, keep in mind that this is the guy that literally took fucking millions of dollars from not just uh, Democratic Party investors, but also Republicans like Buddy Romer. So wouldn't that be selling out to right wingers, Jink? Anyway, he stuck to his principles and never chased right wing or MSM approval or cash like you did, like a sad little puppy dog. He won respect over by being his own man, hashtag respect. So again, he's defending uh, Hassan, his nephew there, but he's also trying to subtweet Jimmy Dore. Um, but like I said, hilariously, he's the only one that's actually technically ever sold out for right-wing money. Again, taking that investment from Buddy Romer. So that's pretty funny. And I think it's certainly fair to say too that he's also chased MSM approval. Um, you know, TYT basically is in the state that it is now because it's desperate quest to seek MSN approval and try to, you know, become more of a, more of a like cable news kind of a show. You know, that's why they stopped cussing as much. That's why they really toned down the show. It got way less edgy. Um, it got way less, you know, lefty, et cetera. So I thought that was pretty funny and worth pointing out. But Ryan Knight actually comes in here uh, and makes a great point. He says, these frauds, referring to David Dole, spent month, months calling Jimmy Dore a grifter because he bought a house. But now they're defending Hassan for doing the same thing. It's like, a personality cult to them. They like Hassan because he worships AOC. They hate Dor because he calls her out. And that's so true. If you guys remember, not that long ago, like literally not even that long ago at all, maybe a few months, uh, David Dole was trying to uh, basically do the Bernie Sanders uh, hypocrisy burn thing. Be like, oh, look at Jimmy Dore. He has a nice house. Therefore, he's a grifter. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, stupid, obviously totally dumb. But let's take a look at this clip that Ryan Knight pulled in order to point out this hypocrisy. I thought this was pretty pretty funny he streams he does a ton of work every day streaming online um and i think i think he has some people 
that he pays to do editing work, but he pays them to do editing work. So there's no issue there. Let me show you some of the reactions online that, um, some of the better reactions online. <laughs> I'm not going to show you the lunatics. Actually, I'll show you one near the end, I think. But let's start here. Uh, Ken Klippenstein tweeting out, really don't give an F about how much money people make if they support taxing the rich. I completely agree. It's all about what you advocate for. And if you're actually honest about that, that advocacy, if you're actually fighting for that, or if you're just grifting the right wing. Anna Kasparian here tweeting out, I'd like to congratulate Hassan for building a successful career without having to suck up to right wingers like Tucker Carlson. Enjoy the home. Nothing wrong with having nice things. Jank Uger here, who of course is Hassan's uncle, so <laughs> some bias here, but still I think this is a fair point. Says here, I'm super proud of Hassan for becoming incredibly popular without selling out or shilling for right wingers. He stuck to his principles and never chased right wing or mainstream media approval or cash like a sad little puppy dog. He won people over by being his own man. Hashtag respect. So yeah, did you have any re reaction to that, Zach? Yeah, obviously it's just so fucking ridiculous because he literally tweeted a few very like a few days ago this Variety dot uh, com article about Jimmy Dore and he said so critical that he still backed her over the guy that actually fighting for M for A so bankrupt that he lives on a one point nine million dollar compound LOL and it just shows that this dude has absolutely no like ability to be um objective in his analysis right this is like he is the embodiment of the personality cult right like that was the perfect way of putting it by ryan uh, obviously ryan's a good friend of the show he's been on here a few times i thought that he made a really great point there and yeah it's all about consistency right like i, I definitely i know some hardcore fucking people that are way left to me that you know want the salary cap to be like a hundred grand or something that, that you know if you're consistent on that principle i'll debate you on that but what i don't fucking like is this oh this person i do like so they can make as much money as they want this person i don't like so they can't make any money or they're a piece of shit grifter it's like what the fuck is going on here like you can't have your cake and eat it too like that and, and it just shows Knows how um like how worthless their, their fucking commentary is i'm just gonna be honest i'm just gonna say how worthless your fucking commentary is if you're gonna put personality and ego over every single fucking thing and literally it happened with every single one of those fucking tweets that he had since ken clifton sedine they were all a silent dig at jimmy Dore, being like oh hassan deserves his house unlike jimmy Dore, who doesn't deserve his house and then it's like you should be proud of earning home there is nothing wrong with owning nice things except for this piece of shit because he went on tucker carlson and i hate this motherfucker so he deserves to live in a cardboard box like come on there's absolutely no consistency there and it's really um obvious it's so painfully obvious that uh, i mean i don't even know what to say at this point other than the fact that this, the, the like the game's up like it, you gave yourself away yeah absolutely true uh, thanks so much nick for the 499 super chat if david dole were to right click paste at any given time there's at least a 50 50 chance it will drop a link to jimmy's compound and i think what he's referring to there is this tweet from not too long ago like i said from david dole where he said yeah so critical that he's still backed her over the guy actually fighting for medicare for all so bankrupt that he lives on a 1.9 million dollar compound lol so again it's just totally stupid that like obviously you can selectively point this kind of thing out to try to um you know to try to get your uh, political enemy so if you're david dole you're going to point this out to try to go gotcha jimmy Dore has a nice house and if you don't like hassan you can point to the to his house and say oh gotcha he has a nice house uh, but at the end of the day it's all substanceless it really has nothing to do with the issues and i think actually jackson hinkle made a really good point here he says hassan piker is allowed to have a nice house jimmy Dore is allowed to have a nice house marxism does not oppose wealth it opposes exploitation and profits Let's focus on the real issues. So I think that's actually a really well said, good point. You know, it's okay if, uh, you know, especially in the streaming game, if you're successful streaming by spreading left wing, uh, you know, talking points and ideas, then yeah, I think that you should, you know, if you're successful in doing that and you're providing people entertainment in the process, making money, you're not exploiting anyone. I mean, th that's, I, I don't really see the issue with that. And again, that goes for both sides. That goes for Jimmy Dore. That goes for Hassan. Uh, that goes for pretty much anyone. Like fucking Destiny. Space. Like, I don't care who oh, you yeah. are. If Destiny buys a $10 million house, I'm not going to be like, fuck this guy. He's not. F I mean, I think, I think Dan Destiny's actually really pro capitalist. So that wouldn't be a gotcha. But you know what I'm saying? Any guy that, or Vosh, I don't care how big Vosh's house is. Like, a lot of people like to burn Vosh from where he's fun. And sometimes that's funny, right? Like, oh, you Beverly Hills motherfucker. Okay. I, I'm all for like fucking jokes like that. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to just be like, oh, your commentary is fucking unacceptable because 
because of where you live or how big your house is. It's like, come on, bro, let's debate our ideas and and burn each other for fun. But let's just, you know, keep the substance where it needs to be. Right. And let's and let's stop giving fucking Krispy Kreme commentary, you know, fucking tasty, but substanceless. Like that's so fucking what that's what's happening across the board. And like like uh, I would rather be a nourishing fucking tasty meal. Right. Like, uh, uh, yeah, fucking we're, we're, we're trafficking in the same kind of shit, but at least we're honest about it. Right. Like at, at least I, I will be like, yeah, David Dole, you want to go buy yourself a hundred million dollar fucking ho- or a uh, hundred can hundred million Canadian dollars. I don't know what the fuck those are called. The ones with the queen on it. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, you could go fucking do that. Also, you know, you're, <laughs> but it, 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 it doesn't matter. Right. Um, and I also, I do think it's a little funny that that dude spends his whole fucking career talking about American politics when he lives in Canada, but there are a lot of people that do that. So I, I just, I won't, I won't hate anymore. Thank you so much. Cole for the $20 super chat. Isn't Piker a product of nepotism? What work does Piker actually do? I work and live in my community as an educator and can't afford a house. I get it doesn't matter how much he makes, but it feels gross to me. I mean, sure, he is a product of nepotism, but a lot of people in this country are the product of nepotism or at least of having rich parents. So I don't necessarily know if it's fair to, you know, find someone that's you know successful in large part thanks to their family and, and be like, oh, you can't have a nice house or whatever. I get it. I get where you're coming from. Absolutely. And I certainly think that everyone should be able to have a house as nice as Hassan's. Uh, but that being said, I think that, you know, he's not taking anyone's house. He's not exploiting anybody. Um, so I, I don't really see an issue with it, but I, I get it. And yeah. And it kind of look, it, you know, the way that it, it, all media works and this is fucked up, but it, but it's true. Uh, you kind of have to get exposure in some capacity, right? Hassan's exposure came from his uncle, jank uh to a, a great capacity jimmy Dore's capa- uh, exposure came from being on the young turks as well uh I, he would not be nearly as big had he ever had he not been on the young turks right so in the same way that he also got a big platform boost from the young turks uh so did hassan uh i think that much is very fair uh what what you have to say about hassan is i, I think that objectively as somebody who is in the same line of work as that guy he's extremely good at what he does he fills the airtime well uh you know he has a very distinct personality again i don't agree with this politics but i'm able to look at him objectively as another streamer and be like that guy has the fucking uh what it takes to be a good streamer right he's and in fact he's forged a lot of that ground so i i i I, while this is all independent from the fact that it's completely fucked and abhorrent and wrong and unacceptable that you can work in your community as an educator one of the most important professions that you can have and still struggle to make ends meet that is that is 100 a problem i think hassan piker would be one of the first people to say that that's a problem as would somebody like jimmy Dore. uh i just think that you know, it, it's a distraction to uh force us to be mad at somebody like hassan or jimmy when neither of those people are taking food out of anybody's mouth neither of those people are like you said gavin taking anybody's homes away uh we need to be focused on the people who are exploiting the people who are vacuuming up all the wealth people who are uh, exploiting others for profit and the people who are imposing those rich rigorous uh, financial restrictions on all of us so that an educator in a community where they're providing one of the most valuable contributions uh, is then exploited to the extent that they cannot have their own home. Again, one that's as nice as Jimmy's or Hassan Piker's. Yeah, absolutely. And I will just say, too, that, you know, he is a good entertainer. Like you said, Zach, he clearly is a good streamer. Um, And even though... 